perileonate dislocation and leonate dislocation. This injury can be missed on initial presentation about 25% of the time. How do you know you have a perileonate or leonate dislocation? You look at certain lines. You look at Gilula lines. You look at Terry Thomas sign, which is the gap between the scaphoid and the leonate. You look at the collinearity of the radius, the leonate and the cavitate. Take your time and trace the small bones of the carbus and its relationship to the radius. You check if the leonate looks like a piece of a pie, triangular in shape. That means subluxed or dislocated. When the scaphoid goes volally, it will give the ring sign due to palmar flexion of the scaphoid. Look at VZ angle and VZ angle. Here is the arrangement of the normal angle the DZ angle and the VZ angle. This is how you measure the angle. The normal angle is less than 60 degrees. The scaphoidinate angle is usually about 47 degrees. Any angle that's greater than 60 degrees is considered to be abnormal. And that happened because of the palmar flexion of the scaphoid. That means there is a scaphoid dissociation. It is a dizzy. This is how the perilunate injury occurs in stages. And it may end by the final stage of leonate dislocation. When the leonate dislocates volally, it may give an acute carpal tunnel syndrome. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.